Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled "Over the Edge." Over the Edge. Mark chapter eleven, verses twenty-two to twenty-four says this: "Have faith in God." Jesus answered, "Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, 'Go, throw yourself into the sea,' and do not and does not doubt in their heart, but believes," That what they say will come true, it will be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Amen. You know, adventure seekers in Oma、uh, in Omaha, Nebraska, can rappel off the engine. The High Line Building during an annual event called Over the Edge, that raises money for Greater Omaha Youth for Christ. The organizer explained that first step is the hardest when they tell you to trust the rope and lean back. That's the hardest part, but it is thrilling. Imagine stepping backward, with two hundred thirty feet of thin air below you, supported by a single rope. It feels dangerous, but done correctly, it's safe, exciting, and the cost is worthy. The follower of Christ and believers in Jesus are like that. We lean on Christ during the cliff-hanging moments of life and trust Him like a climber walking down the side of a building. In his book *Trusting God*, Jerry Bridges wrote, "It often seems more difficult to trust God than to obey Him. The moral view of God given to us in the Bible is rational." And reasonable, the circumstances in which we must trust God often appear irrational and inexplicable. Yet, it is just as important to trust God as it is to obey Him. Church, you remember? Do you know that the ups and downs of life may be God's way of teaching us to le- to rely on Him. You can trust the rope of His grace. You can trust the rope of His word. You can trust the rope of His presence. You can trust the rope of His love. You can trust the rope of His faithfulness. Why? Because He had not failed us before in the past, and He will not today. And even in the future, he will not fail you and me. Amen, amen. Jerry Bridges continued to say, "Is trusting God says, in order to trust God, we must always view our adverse circumstances through the eyes of faith, not of sense." One more time, in order to trust God, we must always view. Our adverse circumstances through the eye of faith and not sense. Hallelujah! Trust Jesus, my friend, in Christ. He is faithful, and He is good, even when you are over the edge of your challenges in life. Amen. You have a great day, and God bless you, Father. Bless your people with a great day in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. God bless you. See you again in the next devotion.